Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have my mommy here. She's my special guest. We actually had a mother-daughter day and just spent the day together and yeah, it was very special. So this is my mommy here. Say hi, mommy. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. I love her. So we are actually going to yum cha, which means um, drink tea aka dim sum for those of you guys know or don't know <laughs> it's a chinese thing or, or asian thing we just sit there and just eat some steamed and baked goods and just sit there drink a cup of tea and chit chat So starting on a freshly cleansed face, I am going to be using eye cream. This is one of my favorite eye creams to use. This is by Kenzoki. It's a Japanese inspired skincare line. It's infused with a ginger flower. This is gonna help with tightening around the skin. It's gonna help saturate any fine lines. It's also gonna help with discoloration and puffiness. I placed this little bottle in the refrigerator so it's gonna help cool the skin and help with the puffing. Don't worry, everything will be listed in the info box below. Another product from this line is my favorite moisturizer, which is Cream with the Sheen. This actually has a little bit of gold flexes in them if you look carefully. But what's really nice about this moisturizer is number one, it smells amazing. Number two, it actually helps give you a little bit of luminosity. And it also controls the production of melanin because it is a pink peony abstract. It's going to give you that nice brightening effect. Starting off with the brows, I'm going to use my favorite brow pencil. There's no explanation for this. You guys know I love this pencil so much. So I'm just going to follow her natural shape of her eyebrows. Well, tattooed, but <laughs> it still has a nice shape. I'm just going to fill it in just a little bit more and making it a bit fuller looking. <laughs> I can see my mom's kind of weirded out. She's like, you do my makeup all the time, but with the camera in front of her, she's like, where do I look at? So I was like, just relax. <laughs> now filling in her eyebrows, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Powder. This will help fill in little sparse areas. Now topping off her brows with some brow gel. So just a little background on my mom's skin type. She's a bit dried combination, definitely matured skin. So all the skin prep and makeup stuff that I will be using is going to help boost up her luminosity and radiance to giving her that glowy skin that she loves. So I'm just going to use my favorite shadow insurance by um, Too Faced just to prime her eyelids. And as you see that in this video, I won't be using any shimmery shadows. I'm going to stick with the mattes just because the mattes is going to look softer for her. Sometimes the shimmery colors can enhance more texture that you would like. So in this video, you'll see it's going to be super soft matte colors. So I'm going to use the matte bone color just to highlight her brow bone. And I'm going to take like a soft brown color later just to kind of warm up her crease and I will be adding more of a mauve colored as well. So I like using more of a soft bone color in the crease just because it's just going to help give an illusion of a eye socket area so it's not going to look so flat but just to warm it up a bit I'm going to be adding a little bit of that mauve color. See, by adding the colors in layers can actually build the contrast and definition without making it look muddy and streaky. So now I'm going to take that black and add a little bit of that brown just to kind of place where I want the outer corners to be. And this way I can control to see how much I need so that way I don't go too high up her crease or too far out of her eyebrow tail. 
So I'm just going left and right making a soft V shape and I know it looks funny right now but I'm just again placing that color before I actually start blending it out softly. And FYI, these are Luxie brushes that I'm using which are super soft. So this one here is a Sigma brush and it's one of the big buffing shadow brushes. I've never used it before so I wanted to try it and I was like, you know what, that brush is humongous. I'm going to get away from that. So going back to this MAC brush, this one here is a mauve color by Makeup Geek. And again, I'm just using this on the lids to warm up her eyes. I always love these soft, rosy, mauvey colors on my mom just because it works well with her complexion. And I'm sure it works well with other complexions too, but this is like one of my favorite colors to use for her lids. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of a lighter color and just kind of highlight her inner eye corners. Taking that Luxie brush again with a soft brown color, I'm blending her crease. So I'm going to mix the crease color with a lighter color and go higher on her eye crease so that there's no line of demarcation from her brows to her crease. Hands down, favorite eyeliner, I'm going to line her eyes. I share the same thing with my mama. One side has to be like slightly thicker just to make it look even. So I'm taking these cherry lashes and I actually cut them in half and I'm placing them on the outer corners mostly, but it kind of gives like a nice demi wispy eye look and it kind of opens her eyes a little bit more. So again, going back to that dewy complexion. Oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> so going back to giving her luminosity, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. She actually loves this stuff and she, I think she wants to take it home. Nope, you can't. You just use it here. So I'm going to take a NARS concealer and just kind of help her reduce any discoloration, which is redness around the nose, her chin. She has that dark spot here. I'm just going to hide that away. Oh, I just read her lips. She says, that dark spot came back. Oh, just use more sunscreen, mommy. All you could do is protect your skin. So note to self, everybody, if you're under the sun, I love it too, but always protect your skin. <laughs> She's like hella falling over. So I was like, mom, you need to like keep your eyes open so you can see because <laughs> you're like not in the camera. She's like, I'm sorry. It's my first time. So I'm going to use the rest of the concealer to apply some under her eyes to brighten. I'm going to use this Born This Way foundation because it is a watered base and it does contain hyaluronic. This does not contain any sunscreen, but it is a beautiful shade for her and coverage. So the brush I'm using is pretty dense, so I'm just really softly feathering the product so it doesn't tug or pull her skin too much. I have no idea what she's saying, but I think she's loving it. Isn't my mommy so cute, guys? Can you guys please give this video a thumbs up for her? So under the eyes, I'm not tugging or pulling and I'm just doing dabbing motions. Topping off her foundation, I'm using the Givenchy face powder. I almost forgot I was going to say. <laughs> this one here is a tan colored, which she is pretty tan by the way guys. Um, so I'm just using this just to set her foundation without adding too much color. 
Gonna top off her lashes and bind her lashes together with just a basic mascara. This is one of my favorite drugstores. Maybelline Dream Mousse. Is it Dream Mousse? No, I'm wrong. I think it's just Mousse Mascara. So I'm gonna line her lower lash line with a Makeup Forever Waterproof Liner. Before lips, we're just going to hydrate with a lip balm. Again, this is another Kenzoki skincare line. I'm going to take another matte product. This is Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I'm just going to give her a little definition into her skin and add a little bit of color. I'm going to top off her apples of her cheeks with a satin colored blush. This is also by Givenchy. This is a really pretty color called Vintage Pink. It's again a rosy matte color. I'm sorry, a rosy mauve color. So I'm gonna top off her luminosity look with some ambient light by Hourglass. I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but you'll see in the next side of her face, it is focusing. And this here is a beautiful color. I kind of just mix the two lighter colors together, just applying it to her high points of her face. And I also applied it in her inner eye corner and the top of her brow bones and yeah, the bridge of her nose. I'm going to pair her lips with a Tarte lip liner. This is a beautiful berry colored. So the lipstick color I'll be using is also by Givenchy and I love this color. It suits her so well. And it goes well with that berry color lipstick. This is an oldie shade, but um, it's a beautiful shade. There are other similar colors that Sephora can offer, so check that out. I'm just taking a lip brush to kind of smooth out the fine lines. And that is it guys. This is my mommy here. This tops and finishes off her Illuminosity beautiful look here. Just giving her a little 360 view. She is so cute. I love my mommy. Say bye guys. She was so happy with her look. Look at that. <laughs> Please subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.